Hello again and welcome back to another one. And we have a couple of hilarious topics to run through, from fast food chain Wendy's throwing shade while referencing the Eminem and MGK situation, to 50 Cent standing his ground in regards to becoming 20 Cent with the proposed tax plan. And I'll end it with some more light on the proposed upcoming Eminem album that's been making the rounds on the internet, so stick around. As we dive in, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy content like this, do us the honors, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, like the video, and for more, find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. So when there's on Twitter, an account that is feared in the fast food industry for their savage responses online, recently chimed in on the Eminem MGK situation, using it to poke some fun around. It all started when Dunkin' Donuts decided to poke the beer with this tweet. Here's some advice about spice. It's always better on a donut like the spicy ghost pepper donut. As you can see from the picture in front of Wendy's, it says, listen to the life-size donut, you don't have to settle for spicy nuggets. And Wendy's wasn't gonna let this slide, they posted this, stick to pushing the food that's so quote-unquote good, you took it out of your name. My grandma has more heat in her roasts. A dig at the chain, trying to move away from the donut's name to expand their target market. And after this, a user had to point out that Wendy's could be one of the things even Eminem would be afraid to diss. The user states, Top 5 things Eminem's afraid to diss. And Wendy's dropped the heat in response to this. Please don't make him do it. My pop punk album to recover after his diss isn't ready. <laughs> A user reacts, Wendy's just dumped on Duncan and MGK in the same thread, powerful, bring all the smoke. And another user expands, imagine MGK writing a diss on Wendy's, girly we get it, we know that you have the greatest spicy nuggets in town, but can other companies put spicy things in your mouth? At this point, we have to assume that Wendy's got a battle rapper managing their Twitter account as a side hustle. They've got brothers lost for words. I spent like 20 minutes trying to think of a better tweet than this gave up. The pop punk tweet got layers to it because figuratively, Dunkin' Donuts pretty much pulled a genre switch in the fast food industry since now they'd rather go by Dunkin' alone to expand their market, a move that states we make much more than just donuts, something MGK pulled in his career as he moved towards pop punk. Wendy's has a record of bodying brands on Twitter and back in 2017, Hardee's got the short end of the stick in an exchange. In response to Wendy's calling them a knockoff, they tweeted, just because you were first doesn't mean you're best. And Wendy's response was, tell us the fourth person to walk on the moon without googling it. And this was how that ended. LOL, they blocked us. In regards to the drama, one user comments, Wendy's roasting TF out of MGK is sending me dead. I'm eating dinner there tonight just for this LOL. And for Wendy's, that's mission accomplished. Moving on to the next topic, in my last video, I covered how 50 Cent set up outrage by deciding to turn down the opposition's tax plan to support Portis instead, and 50 ain't backing down on that. He shared this clip on Twitter. And you know, at the end of the day, uh, people always vote for the candidate whose plan actually gives them the most freedom, the most liberty, and the most opportunity for themselves and their family for prosperity. And that included the caption, yeah, I don't want to be 20 cent, 62% is a very, very bad idea, I don't like it. And in the next tweet stated, it is what it is man, lol, and that was posted with this meme, 50 cent, me and every American dissecting the tax plan of the candidate. And despite all the negative responses to 50's move, some understand his position. The user states, Brah, anybody with half a brain can see that tax plan. Gonna hurt not only the wealthy, but their employees also. Tuition assistance programs gone, charitable donations gone, job cuts coming for sure. Not to mention the people that work directly for them. Gonna take a hit. But many on social media have now put 50, Ice Cube and Kanye West in the same group of cancelled rappers. Moving on, also in the last video, I talked about new album rumors flooding the internet, including some claiming that an album is dropping this Friday, and under a thread on Reddit that states, y'all are dumb if you think for the first time in Eminem's career, at 48 he drops two solo albums, a response got me thinking. What people don't realize is that he dropped Music To Be Murdered by 16 months after Kamikaze and he confirmed that there were tracks that didn't get the samples cleared in time, which means there were some leftover tracks. This user also moves on to end it with this. 
All this to say I'm not so sure he's gonna drop this month because I don't think we have really solid evidence to support an October drop, but I wouldn't be surprised if he released something by the end of the year or early next year. And this post certainly reminded me of Eminem's interview, it is true. Eminem stated that some samples didn't get cleared in time for the album release and remember, Music To Be Murdered By was allegedly supposed to release in December 2019, so perhaps maybe a deluxe version of Music To Be Murdered By is not out of the question, looking back at those samples that didn't get cleared in time. Regardless, I believe we are about to witness a third peak in Eminem's career. Kamikaze, Music To Be Murdered By and the next project should complete the trifecta. Thanks for sticking around to the end, comment below and see you on the next one.